Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh here, and today we're going to talk about why nukes make Godzilla, at least the legendary version, stronger seemingly. Now, in 2014's Godzilla movie, we saw that nukes were once used to try killing Godzilla during one of the opening scenes at Bikini Atoll. And during the Godzilla Awakening comic, they further expanded upon this scene, showing that the true target of the nuke wasn't necessarily Godzilla, as much as it was a thing called the Shinomura, which we made a video about a while ago, so it should be linked in the end card or the description or somewhere in the comments below. But while the Shinomura was destroyed by a nuclear blast, Godzilla survived. And since then, there have been debates regarding whether a more modern nuke would be able to kill the MonsterVerse version of Godzilla, and also at the same time, why didn't he die? Because in older versions of Godzilla, even though he was partially created by nuclear energy and weapons, of nuclear origin, he could still be hurt by things like nukes and even in some interpretations they said a nuke could kill Godzilla, they just wouldn't use it because of the extra damage around Godzilla it might cause. And even outside of this, Godzilla and nuclear radiation, nuclear bombs, nuclear anything almost have been used together a lot in stories as both a power source and a theme and just basically a recurring presence everywhere for Godzilla media. In a similar way to how for Marvel Comics, gamma radiation seemingly always follows the Hulk no matter where he goes. And obviously it's tied to his origin, but besides that for Godzilla, a lot of people stated, oh maybe it's his durability. But it's kind of crazy, especially when you consider that the bomb he took at that time during his battle with the Shinomura should have had about the force of a 15 megaton H-bomb. So to be able to tank that, not even including, not like disregard the nuclear radiation and all that stuff for a second, to be able to tank the blunt force of that is just a whole nother thing. But let's just say this Godzilla can't do that. What about the radiation? Well, the radiation from the bomb is likely to be absorbed by him, kind of like eating food, which seems like an extra boost to him, more so than his normal sustaining force, because his normal kind of source of income, so to speak, in that department is geothermal energy, which is why Godzilla goes underwater, basically into a tunnel, kind of the hollow earth theory, there's all these pockets underground, and he goes under there and probably just chills. This is because geothermal energy is what Godzilla feeds upon, and according to the MonsterVerse is what he's used to survive for millions of years. And going into the hollow earth theory just a little bit, with the pockets underground that allow creatures that are able to get into them to get even closer to the center of the earth, it's presumed that these types of organisms, these big ancient species, all feed upon radiation. And unlike geothermal radiation, nuclear radiation seems to be like a sweet tooth for a lot of them. Which is why the Mutos went to nuclear radiation um, as rapidly as they did. That's just a theory I have personally. But for Godzilla, that's why he goes underground. And that's why also Godzilla and the Mutos both feed off of radiation because they're used to those type of environments where they just feed off the geothermal environments. And for Godzilla, you know, like I said before in the MonsterVerse, he survived on this type of energy for millions of years, which is both probably a testament to how, you know, just strong and powerful Godzilla is as a creature, but also his connection to the Earth and his role as the guardian of the Earth. Now, nuclear energy from both leaks and reports appears to not only sustain Godzilla in a similar way to geothermal energy, but provide him a boost in power beyond his normal levels, which is really interesting. And while obviously this does defy real world physics, I don't really think anyone's applying too seriously any real world physics to Godzilla, considering, you know, Godzilla is extraordinarily a fictional being. While this defies some real world physics, of course, because even though Godzilla, maybe let's say Godzilla does absorb the radiation, you know, the blunt force from the blast of a nuke would still kill Godzilla in a real world scenario, but it's a fictional creature, we're not going too deep into that. But why nukes make Godzilla stronger? Well, the reason is just that, for some reason in the MonsterVerse universe, nukes are treated as like a steroid for Godzilla, basically. And kind of what we've been seeing so far is that nukes seemingly give Godzilla that extra little oomph, I guess a little pep in the step, which is why, I guess in the MonsterVerse trailer, we see Godzilla all lit up in the blue lighting, and he shoots a really powerful atomic blast. The rumor is he gets hit with a nuke currently. Um, no one knows for sure yet because the movie's not out. But it is interesting to note because, like I said before, the Shinomura was hit by the nuke, nothing. But Godzilla seemingly survived it and was kind of chill about it afterwards. He didn't seem too vengeful. So 
definitely is interesting to see how nukes might play a role. Maybe they'll use a nuke again either to kill Ghidorah and it hits Godzilla and powers them both up. I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen. There's been rumors about the Oxygen Destroyer as well, but until the movie comes out, obviously we won't really know for sure the effects of these things, but I just really thought it was interesting how Godzilla and nukes interact with each other in the MonsterVerse from what we've seen so far between either the Godzilla Awakening comic or the Godzilla 2014 film. But comment below and we'll see you guys later.